asked you 20 minutes ago, I would have preached to you, but um, <laughs> I'm not going to do that tonight, even though I have, do have a word in my heart. But um, I just want to tag, I'm going to sit down too. I just want to tag because the Holy Spirit is speaking to us tonight. I don't know if you're aware of that. Um, but during the worship, God spoke something very specific to me. And uh, I heard, I, you know, how do you know you hear the Holy Spirit? Can you hear his voice? Do you know when he's talking to you? And you have, you have a choice. You hear him talking, but he's not talking just to talk. It's not just a, something good to say, but he's, ask, he's actually inviting you to partner with him because he wants to do something. He either wants to do something in your life or he wants to do something through your life. And so he, when he talks to us, he says, I have, can we do this? Now, think about that. God asking, can I do this? So I'm sitting there, and God begins, I, I see pictures, and, and I, I see two faces of two friends in Norway, two people I know in Norway. And, um, and God speaks to me, and he tells me something very specific. And I thought, well, you want to do that? Okay, and I thought, so immediately I move in faith. I grab, I thought, well, I, I should respond. Hello, how many know you got to respond to what God's saying? It's not a good word just to sit there and go, oh, God said this to me. Hey, God's going to do this and God's going to do that. But did you act on that word? So I grabbed my phone and I know my friends are asleep in Norway, but I text them and I, had to make a little action to what I just heard. And then two minutes after I send it, the thought comes to me, no, why shouldn't you send that? I need, wait, I need God to confirm it first, and then I'll say something. And so I go in and I delete the message. And then Pastor Aaron gets up and starts talking, and I realize, oh, God only needs us to obey. That's it, period. He's not asking me to figure it out. He's not asking me to pay for it. He's just saying, I want to do this, and I want to use these two people. Can I do that? You see, God's on his throne, and he can do a lot of things, but he, he has to co-labor with us because we're in the earth. He can't do a single thing without you and me. I feel called to Asia, you might say. Well, he can't reach Asia without you. You got to get your two feet to the airport and get your bottom on a plane. And you need to land in Asia because God can't save anyone without a person. Right? So he's talking, and that's why I started laughing. I said, I better go on and send that message. And then after I send the message, then the thought comes again. One of these people that I sent the message to, the, immediately the reasoning comes why, why this won't happen for this one. Maybe the other one, but maybe not this one. How many of you know God knows what he's talking about? And if God tells you two people and write this and say this, it's because all, God already knows that it's okay. So the enemy is already trying to talk me out of these two things and try, then trying really hard not to try to talk me out of the second one. So it just tells me how really how powerful what God said to me during the worship. And so if I respond, if we respond to what God is saying to us, we get to see his kingdom. Do you know that? We get to be really happy about it. You know, I, I'm being reminded right now that Jesus um, gave his disciples power and authority over demons and to heal the sick. And the Bible says they went out and cast out devils and anointed the sick with oil and um, saw miracles. And they came back saying re really happy about what they saw. And G the Bible says this. Jesus greatly rejoiced. Do you know Jesus is happy? 
Jesus is happy when you act on his word. Jesus is happy when you pray for the sick. Jesus is happy when you give to the poor. Jesus is happy when you obey him. He's greatly happy. That's like spinning around and dancing. He's like really, really, really happy when you believe what he says to you and you act on it because he's speaking and he wants to do that thing. He wants to do it through your life. He wants to bless you, but he needs you. He can't do it without you. So um, I was challenged tonight not to backtrack on your action. Don't backtrack. Do not backtrack. It Because the Holy Spirit will never tell you, I'm just kidding, don't do it. I mean, the Holy Spirit is never going to say that. I'm just kidding. No, it's the devil because he knows if he can put a thought in your mind to question God, then God's purpose can never be fulfilled. So you have to obey. So I don't, I mean, I actually, I'm going to give an invitation. <laughs> How do you like that? It's going to be a simple one, and I'm going to ask you to respond because I had to respond tonight. And this is between you and Jesus. But let me ask you, has God spoken something to your life? Has he told you to do something? Has he put something in your heart, and you have not taken your two little feet and stepped out in it? You have not put action to what he's asked you to do. It's an invitation. You'll never see his kingdom in your life without action. It can't happen. Amen. What's he saying to you? What's he speaking to your life? What's he called you to? What's your, what's your mission? What's your assignment on the earth? What, what's the desire in your heart? You know, it's never going to happen without feet. Because Jesus says, I want to go over there. <laughs> hey, I want to go over there. And you say, oh, wow, that's really cool. Hey, you call your friend. Hey, God, God spoke to me. I have an assignment. God wants to do this. He wants to send me. Hey, I want to go to Asia. Woo-hoo. And you tell everyone and you put it big in your heart and you start dreaming with God. And then you go, that's really cool, God. And God's like, Asia. And you go, that's really cool, God. You know, when all the circumstances When I get the money, I'm going to go to Asia. And Jesus says, but you're my feet. I can't get there without you. I want to go there. There's somebody who's calling my name. Help. And that's why I talked to you. That's why I I told you to go to Asia. You know, somebody's crying out for me. But you're my feet. I can't get there without you. I need you to go. This is very strong. You're his feet. You're his hands. He's not asking you for anything else, but will you be willing to go? You say, but I'm not prepared. I I, I don't know what to do. I don't know what I'm going to say. He says, I didn't ask you that. I need feet, Amy. I want to go over there. Will you take me over there? I'll do the rest. But I need feet. If you say Jesus, okay, I'll be. You got pretty nice feet, Jesus. I'll be your feet. You see, he's the head, we're the body. He needs us. He needs you. You can hear, you can sit here and come week after week and hear Pastor Aaron's stories. You can hear things, see things I do on Facebook, but it can be you. It should be you. It's not just, it's not me. You see, only thing that happened is I sat in my room and God began to talk to me and he said, my body is sick, Amy. I want to go over there. 
I want to raise my body up. Will you go? And I said, God, that sounds so cool. Wow, you're going to see the sick healed. You're going to see people saved. You're going to see all kinds of miracles. Wow, that's awesome. I kept praying. I kept praying. I kept praying. kept dreaming, dreaming, dreaming. God kept speaking. The dream got bigger. got so excited. I'd call people and talk to people at church. Woohoo! Nothing was happening. Just dreaming. The dream getting bigger and bigger, but there was no reality of it. I don't know about y'all, but I'm tired of, of like dreaming with no reality. And God spoke to me one day, and it changed my life. And he says, Amy, you're not waiting for me. I'm waiting for you. I said, what? He says, I'm waiting for you. I need you to take your feet. And I need, to, I need you to move them in the direction I'm talking to you. I tell you, I stepped out. I was a little nervous, a lot of nervous. But I just took my feet in the direction of where the Holy Spirit was talking. And when I got there, miracles. Miracles. You know, the scripture that comes to mind is this, and I'll just end with this. The Bible says that we are earthen vessels. Don't ever forget you're an earthen vessel. Clay. <laughs> Clay jars. The Bible says we're earthen so that everyone will know, including us, that he's the power. We don't, we don't have power. He is the power. All we have to do is be earthen and take these two earthen feet in the direction of what the Spirit is saying, and he'll do the rest. Amen. Stop dreaming. Go. Go. I'll just tell you what he said to me there. He spoke something very clear to me. And he said, go. good enough for me now I know that I'll never see what he said to me if I don't take these two little feet and go in that direction of what he said where do you want to be next year my whole life changed in a moment where do you want to be next year what do you want to be doing the same thing in the same meeting praying for the same thing, believing for the same breakthrough? Or do you actually want to be living in your call? What do you want to do? You have to say yes, Lord. Okay. I'm a little scared. He says, okay, I'm with you. I got you. Just go. But I don't know what I'm going to do when I get there. It's okay. I'll help you. Just go. Amen. Just respond to him tonight. This is between your heart and his. What has he said to you? What is a dream in your heart? What is the desire of your heart? What do you keep talking about with no action? Make a choice tonight. Okay, Jesus, I surrender. Holy Spirit, I'm going to step into this call. I'm going to step into what you said for me, to me. And you, you're going to part the waters. <laughs> you're going to part the waters. Amen. for it.